The ghost of a dead reporter enlists the aid of a journalism student to catch a serial killer in Woody Allen's riff on the romantic comedy, Scoop. The journalism student is Sandra Pransky, Scarlett Johansson in Spectacles, who encounters the ghostly reporter, Ian McShane, in the trick compartment of a small-time magician named the great Splendini, Woody Allen. Johansson and Allen form a father-daughter partnership to catch the culprit, who may be handsome, wealthy Peter Lyman, Hugh Jackman, who Sandra almost immediately falls in love with. It's all fun and games from then on, reminiscent of the Bob Hope comedy mystery films of the 1940s, with Woody as a bumbling hope and Johansson as a not-so-suave Dorothy L'Amour. Or was it Veronica Lake? Hello. How are you? Welcome, Mr. Spence oh, yeah. and uh, oh, yeah. Jane. Oh, Spence. Mm, you look stunning. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's stunning. beautiful here. Thank you. It's thank really... you. Yes, it's been in, been in the family for years, uh, about 400 years. It's a little stuff of my taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she, she said that all that's missing is a moat. Right. <laughs> I love that. I love the, the moat line. <laughs> All that's missing is a moat. Ah, ah, this is my father. Uh, 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 father Stephen Lyman. This is my friends from America. Oh, calling oh, oh Lord Lyman. Oh, Lord Lyman. Lyman. Hello. 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 Curtsy. 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 I've never Curtsy. met a lord before. How exciting. <laughs> no, but there was that earl. <laughs> there was that earl. <laughs> I do hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, Peter, why don't you show them around? Absolutely. Would you like that? Oh, he charmed, I'm sure. Should we hit the buffet table first, though? Because no, the Dad. Looks great. Remember, we wanted to look around. Yes, of, course, of course, blessed offspring. <laughs> Why don't we get a drink and then we'll start inside? Oh, okay. Come. Well, this is um, the new Woody Allen, and mm -hmm. he is taken off from beloved New York, and this is his second film in a row now in which he's in London. The first yeah. was Match Point. Right, same cinematographer, too, which I think is important. Right. And, um, um, What's interesting to me um, uh, is that both of these last two films are really entertainments. Mm -hmm. And this is a real entertainment. I do not like it as much as I did on Match Point. I'm, I'm the other way around on yeah. it. I know this isn't, this isn't as much of a stretch as Match mm -hmm. Point. I suppose it isn't as profound as Match Point. Right. But it does have Alan you know, exhibiting his greatest talent, that talent to amuse. I think the London surroundings have really you know, concentrated his abilities as a Jewish comedian. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like a Jewish comedian again in London in a way I don't think he is in New York anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, facing those walls of class and, and uh, the intimidation the, you know, the English upper class has for any American. It's, he's, he's funny again in that respect. I don't know if he could have gotten a line, uh, could, the resonance out of a line like, I used to be of the Hebrew persuasion, but I converted to narcissism in, in New York the way he can in London. So, Well, I don't know. I, I, what really happened to me was the hesitation and the mumbling mm -hmm. As he even went through each one of these one-liners, really got tiring, and I felt that his timing was really lacking in the no, film. No, I didn't. I didn't and think and that at Scarlett all. Johansson, who I had liked so much in Match Point, and you didn't, mm -hmm. you now like her in this film, right? Yeah, I think this is like Ray Upper Alley. You know, yeah. the, the, once upon a time he would have created a name like Scarlett Johansson for some some unattainable <laughs> girl, and now he's now he's acting with her. She's very much the she's it's it's a it's a daughterly fatherly relationship it's not you know I don't think there's anything in tour where there are some people who are worrying about it you know oh, it's yeah, hanging no, no, no. out with the young girls yeah. again yeah no I, I really like this I thought it was a better film than match point I know I'm in the severe minority on this one but I thought it was I thought it was well I'm, I'm certainly and, I mean I'm certainly gonna suggest that people go see yeah. it but I just and I think it was okay I yeah, thought no, the, that Scarlett Johansson was too much over the top and oh, um, no, I was um, fine with that it's, it's the script the script is very it's it's creaky like an old 30s Mm -hmm. You know, plot-wise, it's, it's like an old '30s mystery, like you were saying. You were, you were saying Bob Hope. I think it goes a little bit back, back earlier than that. It's okay. like an old Philo Vance thing or something. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, but it didn't have the awkwardness of the Philo Vance things. Um, um, then, of course, there's Hugh Jackman, who's just made to stand around and look pretty, and we could have done much more with him. I mm -hmm. think, you know? Yeah, I yeah. agree with you there. 